Hello, I'm Teacher Hu, and today I'll introduce the exam environment for our HCIE Datacom, which has the exam code H.2892 and is version 1.0. Before watching this video, you should have some understanding of our lab dump services and its exam process, which is divided into four modules. The first module is traditional campus reconstruction and upgrade. The second module is cloud managed campus and branch interconnection network construction. The third module is bearer WAN transmission. The fourth module is network automation. Now let's look at the overall uh, exam topology. Uh, the first module is the campus in CDX. In this part, we can achieve just using our ENSP, 90% uh, of the exam outcome. For example, like OSPF, uh, NAT, firewall policies, link aggregation, um, AP online, etc. All of these can be implemented. For instance, if we add a new AP, which is blank configured, we need to perform the corresponding configuration. Then the AC issues the relevant policies allowing Terminal 5 to search for the wireless signal, connect to this AP, and then we need to perform corresponding link aggregation settings, stack related configurations. However, stacking technology is not possible to configure in ENSP. It needs to be done with the physical rack behind us. Then there's the campus in City Y and the pilot store, which is this part, and the SD-WAN section. This section must be implemented through our remote physical rack access. And the middle part is our transmission backbone network. This network can also be implemented using ENSP, about 99% achievable. This introduction covers the entire topology. Now let's take a look at the topology of the campus in City X before reconstruction. We will see the addition of a T2 office building. And then there's the addition of a new firewall. Next, we see the network of the campus in City Y and the pilot store. This side completely relies on our SDN controller called iMaster NCE Campus to perform cloud management operations to meet the respective requirements. In the exam hall, we use Mobux term for our command related operations. The terminal sessions are listed like this when opened and each session has already been created in advance, just like in the real exam hall. Usually we can click on the respective device name to directly perform the respective operations. The fourth part, network automation, needs to be done in our terminal one, a Windows terminal using Python related commands. Again, this is lab demo. This is our ENSP built network for Campus X and the WAN campus. Through our corresponding configuration of routes, we achieve interconnectivity. For example, our pilot store needs to go through the WAN, then access the server section of the X campus. And our CityZ data center is also transmitted through the backbone network. Then, the corresponding compliant users of Campus Y can also access the Campus X server area for respective services after the WAN backbone network routes are connected. We can practice this part to about 90%. Overall effect needs to be seen in our physical rack. Now we connect it. Then we open Mobex term on the desktop. This is exactly the same as the real exam. After opening, for example, after entering the T1 core router, you can see this sort of session. Of course, the corresponding configurations have already been made here. We can see that there are corresponding VLAN configurations here. Our two VPN instances have been configured, as well as the respective ACLs, including the creation of the DHCP address pool and OSPF related configurations. Then, our fourth part, which is network automation, is done in this terminal when opened. This is the same as in the exam hall. After clicking it, we can see here are Python related running results, Python related commands here, which we need to be familiar with. Then we need to enter Python commands. In this also in terminal one, there is software like PyCharm. After we open it, we can run Python. This is our corresponding solution. For Campus Y, it can be logged in through the Google browser. We can switch to English, 
After logging in successfully, we can carry out the respective device going online and then manage it. The devices here and the devices on this side are brought online and then managed. For example, if there are SDWAN related sections, we can import the respective network devices to go online. Above is our entire HCIE Datacom Lab Environments detailed introduction. So I also wish everyone can pass the HCIE Datacom successfully on the first attempt. Okay, goodbye.